Okay, still five o'clock. Welcome back to the channel. I'm in the 912. I'm taking it back to storage and something really concerning has just happened. I've literally fired it up, got onto the road and I've straightened up and the steering is massively off. And I feel like something's come off or broken and we're gonna have to pull over and check. But why has that happened? Yeah, this is it was fine when I parked it there. Admittedly, I parked it there about a week ago. But I'm going to find a spot to pull over and check it out. So something has just clunked, broken, or something. And it's quite far to the storage facility. So I don't know what's happened. But this is quite upsetting because... Well, I'm also going to go and pick up my 996, which I haven't driven for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks. But I need to keep it slow and steady. I say slow and steady, but I'm doing 60 kilometers an hour. But something doesn't feel right. Well, no. Something doesn't feel right. I, something isn't right because the steering's off. But why is that? Something at the back. I feel like something at the back has happened. Something collapsed. I don't know. Something sounds a bit off, like clicking. So I'm gonna keep it slow. All right, let's go and have a look. I didn't, it didn't, did it? Fucking hell. Everything kind of looks okay, so let's go again. Okay, it's pulling to the left as well. What happened to make it do that? Yeah, it's, it's kind of automatically sort of going to the left. I don't know what that is. Anyway, the I just need to slowly go there. It's annoying because there's a few national speed limit roads. Um, and the brakes work fine. The car drives fine. I wanted to have this really nice last drive. But what, what's happened in that time that it's been parked? Anyway, one of the things that I was looking forward to was having a last drive, giving it the beans, and also getting back in the 996. It's been absolutely ages. Probably about three weeks. To me, that's ages. But I hope it still fires up, but it's been inside, it's been stored, so it should work. I mean, it's still mucky as hell, but... And there's also a thingy ban on, hose pipe ban, so it's not like I can give it a jet wash or anything. Um, and the other thing is, the Queen's died. Which is weird. Which is weird because, you know, in my 
yeah, in my lifetime, that's been the only queen I've known, or the only monarch I've known. Um, and I've got to call my mum, because it's only happened the other day, and my mum's going to be upset. And... And also, in my lifetime, probably the lifetime of my children as well, that'll be the last time we'll have a female monarch because it's Charles, even if he's not, if he's king for only, you know, five more years, he's what, in his 70s, 10, well, he could be, he could be a monarch for the next 20 years. But then there's William, he could be a monarch for the next, you know, 50 years. And then after that, it's George, who knows? So anyway, it's, it's, a, it's a big day. And in terms of what it means for the country and things like that, it's normally, you you know, under normal circumstances, and I mean, you know, three, four, five years ago, people would have looked back with fondness at her life and her dedication and devotion to public duty. But now, because of what's been happening with the pandemic, and I not pronounce that properly, the pandemic, the horrific government that we've had, uh, people are just gonna look at it and go, oh, I'm not this as well. It's like just another thing to like smack you in the face with. But anyway, um, and, the other, and the other thing I wanted to talk about was obviously just recorded the podcast with Patrick Long, Porsche racing royalty. Your factory works, works, factory, factory Porsche driver and he did the um, GT3 RS announcement with um, Andy Pruninger. He also drove with Patrick Dempsey uh, for Dempsey Del Piero, Alessandro Del Piero, the mega famous footballer. There's something doesn't sound right. Yeah, something is off. It's gonna have to go, when I get it back out of storage, it's gonna have to go straight to the garage. Yeah. Anyway, that, that podcast was, really enjoyed it, and it was fantastic. He's such a great guy, uh, had such a varied career, driven in so many different categories. He was in the Red Bull program, um, right at the early stages of the Formula One Red Bull with, you know, Scott Speed is the driver that I mentioned from way back. Uh, hang on, let's just see here. This, this video is gonna be horrific, stop, start, stop, start, because I'm really distracted by this sort of whatever it is. I'll have stopped at the bumpiest lay-by. But well, let's have a look. Right, everything kind of looks okay, but the steering has gone really light. I have no idea what that means. I might have to get it trailered to wherever. But anyway, any ideas why the steering has gone off to the left by quite a lot? And I'll just take a picture of that. Yeah, the steering has gone off to the left quite a lot. And it's a lot lighter. And also... I can turn the wheels, just... Like, I can grab the wheels and turn them. I just... I don't know what it is. I, I had a look underneath. I can't see anything that's untoward. Um, but it feels like something's just, I don't know what it is, something's just, the geometry's changed. And I'm really not keen to push it. Someone in a Range Rover Revoke pulling up behind. Anyway, enough now, I can't concentrate. Wait till I'm back in the 996 and we'll, we'll go over it then.